Malaysia. So we will Right. Okay. This is the my info requirement. Um. Before we submitting this um uh, document to the my info, usually we will submit CR one form, no notification of copyright in the work. So and then it must be have the work. And also must uh, have the fix also. Pension. Okay. okay, this is the category of copyrightable work. There are seven uh, copyright uh, category of copyright work. Basically, uh, before we submit uh, the evidence to the MAIFO, we must uh, follow the requirement by the MAIFO. So basically, the criteria to get to the, uh, to submit the document to the MAIFO, firstly, the copyright must be in a material form. That means you can see the material. It's like uh, the printed version. So it's in must be in the material form. The second one must be original uh, from the original author. And then the, the third belongs to the protected of the work. So what is the protected of the work? There, there is a seven uh, copyrightable categories. In the screen, you can see firstly, literary. Literary is like the article, book, um, what is it called? I think uh, it's report, um, short summary. All right, so that this category is under literary. So the artistic category is like photograph, uh, it's like the picture, man. So this one is artistic, also can copyright. And then the third is musical, uh, the music notes, and then sound recording. Sound recording and then also film, film like video, uh, like student uh, usually uh, produce a YouTube video, right? The procedure or something uh, or uh, the research video. And then the broadcast and also derivative. So for derivative, uh, it's like the uh, translation, translation of, of the work, work from, from the, the original, original author, author to the second, second author. author. So, so if, if you want, uh, example, if you want to translate the Arabic version of book uh, to the English version, you need to get the permission from the original author. Right. Okay. That's why uh, category is under derivative.
Okay. They also uh, have work not protect, protected by copyright. Personally, like ideas, uh, fact, a name, title, slogan, and other short phrase. Example like logo. Logo, uh, like Honda logo, the power of green. So that slogan is under the trademark. And then the other short phrase, uh, the slogan, the short phrase is slogan. And then the logo, the McDonald logo is uh, for trademark also. So it's not for copyright. And then the official government work also cannot be copyright. Okay, basically, uh, this one is focused for the researcher or lecturer. Uh, this is category in the IFM. We have the NISP funded and self funded. For the uh, for the university funded, the budget availability to the uh, fund by the university and self funded the fund uh, by the researcher. So researcher not need to pay uh, for the copyright submission. And then the criteria, first research-based work, uh, researcher specialization and a work that has potential to be commercialized. So for eligible for university funded, uh, we must uh, have these three criteria. And then in order to get the MIRA point, uh, the university budget uh, uh, will get the MIRA point. And the size of work for both is not um, three gig. Uh, if more, uh, you need to pay for that. Okay, this is the piece for the uh, copyright application in the IUM. For one application is RM300. Uh, okay. okay, how do I register my work? So uh, basically, uh, researcher you need to submit uh, my uh, copyright through an MSB2, attach together the copyright disclosure form, copyright material, and turn in e report. So, a uh, copyright disclosure form can get from the library website. Okay, this is the uh, process of the CDN, Copyright Voluntary Notification. Uh, the application process through an MSB2. And then the approval will meet at the RMSB2. And then we will submit the document to the MAIPO. All right. After that, we will get the notification of the registration and also get the certificate. So the certificate is legal. So that means it's uh, the last process. All right. And then after that, we will document it for the MIRA and the for university purpose. Okay, this is uh, the little bit of uh, um, what we call the uh, uh, the flow for for submit at the RMSB2. Okay, so I just skip to this uh, sample. Okay, this is the sample of the copyright material, and then this is the sample of the copyright disclosure form. So this uh, form, uh, researcher, uh, student can get from the Daripuma Library website. And then this is the sample of the uh, copyright registration. And also this is the certificate. The certificate is legal, <coughs> okay. Any uh, problem or plagiarism happen, so we will show this certificate, all right. Okay, this uh does it still also any the application that approved, uh it will appear at the Horis. And then uh to search a copyright voluntary notification via online, this is the step. Just go to the IP online and search for the copyright using copyright title or copyright name, and then it will appear like this. This is the sample of the copyright that has been approved. The title is Sensei No Chroma K Advising System. Right. Okay, any uh, question uh, can uh, contact us at the Hikman Library. Right.
Uh, this is our email, si Alif at IUM.edu.ma. And thank you. That's all from me. All right. Thank you, Sister Anish, for the fruitful information. Okay. So uh, I think it is uh, very informative for us uh, in, order, in order for us to know the process of copyright. Okay. All right. So if uh, I open the question, if there is any, before we proceed to the next speaker, any question so far? Yeah. All right. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Sorry, for me, I just want to know if one is granted copyright, how long will it only be valid? For the duration of the legal of the copyright. All right. Okay. For the okay, let me show. Okay. This is the category for the literary and artistic. The lifetime of the uh, legal protection is the lifetime of the author plus 50 years after that. Other than category like musical, sound recording, film, broadcast, and derivative is 50 years after the first week. The first week. 50 years after the first week. Other than literary and artistic. So the duration longer is literary and artistic. All right. Uh, any other question from the floor? No. All right. Uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, okay. Um, you have um, showed to us the, uh, the registration to the from the wine pool system, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when we apply uh, from the IUM, so meaning that one uh, will be done by the library, is it true? And then uh, we, as a researcher, we just apply from the RMSP2 and all the my, my info uh, process will be done by library, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right, maybe we can move to the next speaker. All right, thank you very much, Sister Anis. Inshallah, we're looking forward to having you, inshallah, next uh, future. All right, so maybe now uh, we move to our second speaker, Brother Muhammad Rizwan Osir, to enlighten us on the uh, publication for Myra. Uh, the floor is yours. Uh, Dr. Levy, before we start, maybe we can uh, ask questions from the Zoom. Oh, all right. That's the question from the Zoom. Yeah. Okay, there is, uh, there is one question in the Zoom. If an author publish under a publisher, who need to pay for the copyright fee? Uh, Sir Michael, thank you so much for the question. Um, for the publisher, um, is uh, like book. Book, uh, copyright under publisher. So publisher have the copyright itself. So uh, if the author want to copyright also, so author pay for that. So, uh, because the copyright uh, that my Yipo handled is copyright law 1987. So it different with the publisher. Example, online journal or uh, index article, they have the, their own copyright. So a uh, researcher or author can have both copyright in the same time. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much. Uh, so it, it's, yeah. so it, uh, it's optional. Uh. Optional to, yeah. uh, to apply for uh, copyright, uh, I mean, for the book. Okay, um, you see that uh, just now, we uh, are the publisher company itself, so they yeah. have the copyright. Uh, they will, uh, they will uh, process the copyright for the water, usually. Okay, another one, uh, the, the copyright, uh, uh, do we need to apply for uh, other copyrights? Uh, if author intended to apply, can. Oh, uh, because the publisher have their copyright set. Okay. 
Alright. So if the uh, author have the agreement with the publisher, so normally the author don't don't copyright by himself or herself. The publisher will do for the author. I see. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Sister, so maybe one more question. Uh, in the what we call in the form, this project form, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's listed there whether our work already. Uh, publish or not, right? Yeah. Or exposed to the public or not, right? Yeah. So let's say if um uh is it recommended um to copyright the uh, the, the people the part of the uh, the research people and so on because this one will be published by the journal itself, right? So is it recommended uh to have both um uh, copyright uh and then if uh, can it be part by university? Okay. Uh, basically, uh, we recommend researcher to apply for the general first, the index general. So because uh, they have their copyright, uh, such as uh, copyright license, uh, common license. So this one, uh, because the nature to publish is different. Uh, because the journal sometimes publish in the website, in the I mean the internet. Okay, so uh, the publisher have their protection for that works. So uh, mostly the we suggest the unpublished article, the report to copyright with the Malipo because uh, we want to uh, protect the idea. So uh, basically we suggest the researcher to uh copyright the i mean uh, the pub publish the journal or the journal because they have uh, on there they have uh, output so uh, the output is important so publish with the index article first and then another version of like report or short article can uh, copyright under my book thank you so much doctor all right so yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, and then we have uh, maybe a feedback. There is another from um, Dr. Afiza Wansu. Maybe a feedback to include link for attachment in RS and SV2. Uh, okay. I think that. Do, yeah, do you have the, I mean, the link included in the attachment? What do you think? Yeah, someone give a feedback. No. Uh, feedback. Uh, feedback. Uh, feedback. Uh, feedback. Uh, feedback. 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 Uh, thank you, Doctor, for the uh, uh for the, uh yeah we noticed that at the RMS B two some researchers cannot uh upload the uh material that have more than one MB. So basically, it's like video. Uh, and if the PDF have a big uh size, okay. So basically, we suggest for researcher just include the link at the Microsoft Word, and then attach at the RMS B two. And then we will get the work from there. Just uh, give the link to the one run and give me uh, give us permission uh, to access to the document. Thank you, Dr. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Sistanis, for the explanation. Um, all right. Any other question? <laughs> if no, then we can proceed with Brother Rizwan. Please welcome. Uh, may I uh, add? <laughs> uh, maybe after this, if uh, the lecturers of KST got problem with the copyright application, for example, um, maybe can we have a session or few sessions with the librarian, uh, with Sister Anas? Uh, can, Doctor. Maybe it's a lot of consultation. Yeah, uh, can, Doctor. No problem. Okay, so uh, how, how do we... Uh, Okay, how can we uh for the uh, session? Uh, can email us at the at uh, you I see. Uh, uh, uh. One more, sorry. <laughs> okay, yes, doctor. Uh, uh, 
uh, as of now, uh, how many uh, funds available uh, for the copyright? Okay. Uh, as of today, we uh, basically uh, university uh, target for 100, 140 uh, copyright for one year. So uh, as of today, we already uh, have 100 copyright applications. So there's only 40 slots. Thank you. First come, first serve. All right. So students, please. Please do your uh, work explanation and give it to your supervisor for the copyright application. Eh? There are 40 available, but mm -hmm. that's the opportunity. Mm -hmm. All right. So, thank you so much, Dennis. <laughs> I still love it. I'm going to this one. I'm going to do this one. Okay, um, professors, uh, associate professors, uh, doctors, uh, brothers and sisters. My name is Mama Rizwan. Uh, today, uh, I will talk on uh, Myra Evolution, focusing on uh, C1 publication and E4 copyright. So I try my best to uh, combine uh, the academic part and the students for the uh, master and PhD. How the academic and the student uh, collaborate uh, to uh, boost the Myra point for the university and for your uh, graduation. Uh, the PE equivalent, I think, like that. Okay, basically for the today, I will cover a little bit uh, our function of the research uh, support uh, session. I will talk on the Myra, and then uh, session C1, quantity and quality of research, and how our unit covers the data from the IREP and from the Scopus. Uh, I will talk on the section E4 innovation, the Myra research accessories, Myra section coordinators. Okay, basically, uh, from uh, our section, we have uh, two units from the scholarly publication uh, unit and copyright unit. So, both our section, we will uh, harvest the data and we will. Uh, Massage, evaluate, and we we'll send the data for my Mohe, Setara, and uh, Myra to the RMC because, uh, as we notice that uh, every year for the Myra, there is a internal and external audit for the assessment for the rating we see, and uh, for your information. Uh, Every year, uh, the university will uh, what we call uh, try the best to get the good uh, rating uh, from a five uh, uh, point until a six point for the Myra. Okay, Malaysia Research Assessment Instrument. Okay, basically for your information, we have uh, two type of Myra: Myra one and Myra two. For the my for our UST, we are using the guideline for Malaysia Research Assessment Instrument One. For the five RU from the UPM, USM, UTM, UKM, USM, they are using the Malaysia Research Assessment Instrument Two. Okay, this is the glossary that uh, we refer. We have a uh, two type of the glossary from the English version and from the uh, Malay version. So basically for the commission, they will refer this guideline to plan for your for your research for the current years. Okay, what are the components that are covered for the Malaysia Research Assessment uh, 1? So basically there are six, uh, around uh, eight sections from the section A, section B, Section C, D, E, F, G, and H. For our library, we are going to cover for Section C, Quantity and Quality of Research, C1. 
and we cover for section E, innovation E4 for copyright, and section H, support facilities. Section C1, quantity and quality of research. So basically, for C1, there are around uh, 12 subsections under this uh, section. So if you notice that uh, there are C1, A1, uh, this, the, the, the mean uh, total number of publications indexed in Scopus was era in the journal, meaning that uh, you publish, you write the article and you publish the article in the index journal. For example, uh, from uh, our list, we have around uh, six or seven journals that are indexed uh, in the scopus, like the uh, engineering journal, um, I am medical journal, um, another uh, revelation journal, and the others. Okay, and then uh, we have a C1A2, total number of publication in Scopus was era in the conference proceeding. For example, you with your supervisor go for the conference proceeding and write the article. And then when the article is uh, published, an index in Scopus was an index uh, era. You uh, and the supervisor will get a point uh, for the my era. And then for the student, we get the point for the PE equivalent. Uh, I think uh, one article uh, PE equal to one point. Uh, I think I refer uh, from the CPS, the point. And then uh, we have a C1A3 uh, joint publication, meaning that uh, if the researcher uh, do the research and then write the article, must have the collaboration with the internal, external, and from the industry to get the mark. And for the C1, B1, we have the publication impact for five years. Uh, for example, this year, we will cover from the 2023 and uh, for the next uh, five years. And number five, we have a C1, C total number of publication in my site in the journal. For example, we have around 324 index journal that are uh, index under my site. And uh, from the our industry, we have around the 32 uh, journal that published under Iron Press. Uh, last year, uh, around 11 journal is uh, index under my site. And then uh, number six, C1, D1, 1, total number of uh, research book in the Scopus was. Number seven, C1, D1, 2, number of uh, done in that research book and then we have a c1 d2 one number of chapter in research book index corpus boss c1 d2 two number of chapter in not in that research book c1 d3 number of case study that the report published and we have a c1 d for the policy paper lastly but not at least c1 f stand for other publication for example uh, the academician to write any article published in newspaper, newsletter, or in writing, they will fall under this uh, subcategory. Okay, now I will uh, show you uh, the sample of the uh, index article and the index uh, conference proceeding. So, this is a sample of the index uh, article. So, basically, for the information, uh, when they finish write the article and publish the article, uh, the technician will submit all the data plus the attachment, the full article into the uh, our repository, uh, IREP. So from the IREP, we will check all the evidence and the data. We will check the title of the article from uh, which journal publish, and we will make sure the volume is, uh, the volume, for example, volume one, issue number three, page number 11 until 24, for example, and year of the uh, publish. For example, uh, for the Myra, the, the year of publication must be the current current year. For example, this 2023. Okay, this is a sample the article that are uh, indexed in the Scopus was. So basically, we will check the volume number, the issue number, the page number, and the year of publication. 
Okay. What happened? Let's say uh, the academician or the students mentioned that uh, already write the, the article and then uh, claim that uh, article uh, already published but uh, must be uh, in mind that uh, there are two versions uh, the article. The first one is published that I mentioned before. Published must have the volume number, the issue number, the page number and year of publication. But the article stand for the impress. Normally, there is no information, for example, like the volume number, the issue number, and page number. There are cases that uh, uh, we, we, we experience that the academician claim that article already published. And when we check from the uh, full article, the article still under impress. So, uh, they will take uh, a month, years, and sometimes uh, around uh, two or three uh, years to change from the status from the impress until the publish. Okay, how we get to know that article impress? So normally we will check from the scopus. You will see that uh, from the scopus here, article is impress. So here the title of the article is there, the gender, uh, the gender name is there, year is here, but there is no volume number, the issue number, and page number. So this article classified as impress. Same with the web of the science, but from the web of science. Uh, use the status as article as uh, early access. Okay, now I will talk on the C1 total number of publication in Malaysia Citation Index uh, by site in the journal. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, from uh, our UST, from the IEM Press, uh, the UST published uh, around the 32 journal that uh, published by IEM Press. So last year, 2022 from uh, 32 journal, 11 journal uh, index under my site. We have the Al Sajara from the Istat campus, uh, campus, and then uh, Asiatic journal. This this journal is under Kuliah uh, of uh, Ahas. Uh, I am engineering journal from the Koi. I am law journal from the Icon. I am medical leader from the Kuliah of Medical from the Quanta campus. And then we have the intellectual course from the Kuliah of Ahas, I think. And then uh, we have the International General of Economic Management and Accounting from the Economics. Uh, International General of Fit and so Fit from the Kuliah of Ahas. General of uh, Islamic Hyden from the Kuliah of IBF, I think. Revelation and uh, Science from Kuliah. Um, from C, I think, uh, from the Quanta campus. And lastly, uh, Biological and Natural Resources Engineering uh, General from Kulia of Engineering. Okay, so basically, uh, this is the data from uh, the last year. For this year, uh, we still the, uh, waiting the news from the uh, KPT. Uh, hopefully, by end of this uh, November, we will get the result. Uh, how many of uh, our journal that index uh, for the my site for 2023. Okay, this is the list of the my site for the last year. Uh, for the phone from the Malaysia, we have around a two, 350, uh, 354 journal that index under my site. Okay. From the uh, IREP, so we will check again the same 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 uh, workflow. We will check the full article, the title of the article, and then we will check the volume number, the issue number, page number, and year of publication. And the most important part is the author information, the name and declaration. We have a case uh, before the academician claimed that the article already published and uh, indexed on my site. But when we check the name, the name is the uh, same, but there is no explanation mentioned that from the International Islamic University Malaysia, uh, in this case, 
during the audit assessment for the internal and external audit, normally the auditor will uh, reject the, this evidence and ask us to remove from the um, master list of the Myra. So uh, we uh, advise for our technician and uh, our student uh, when the right article, make sure you uh, put the name, the, the full name, and the most important thing is the declaration from Ulia of KCT, International Islamic University of Malaysia. This is the most important uh, information that I uh, need uh, for the uh, internal and external uh, audit for my round. Okay. Now we move to C1, D1, one number of research book index in Scopus was C1, D1, two number of non index research book. So basically, we will uh, use our Myra Brasserie how we uh, check all the data and how the data from the IRAP and make sure that all the evidence uh, tied with the, the rule from the Myra Brasserie. Okay, this is a sample of the Number nine in the research book, normally uh, the publisher must be registered under mapping. Uh, we, right now, we have around the 31 uh, publisher registered under mapping. For, uh, for example, I am Press from uh, our uh, We have the UM Press, UIT Press, UK Press, and others. For the sample of number research book in the Scopus and was. Uh, normally the publisher from the CRC Press, Springer, from the Thousand Writers and others. And last year, Alhamdulillah, uh, we received uh, one uh, data from the Kulia of ICOL, uh, the title uh, regulation of the profession in East of uh, Asia. Uh, and then this book uh, is indexed uh, under Scopus. So this is a sample of the evidence that uh, the book uh, in the other scoffers. We have the title of the, uh, the book and then uh, the publisher here, uh, the page, and then uh, the, the most important thing is the year of publication. So this is a sample of an uh, accepted of the research book. Okay, normally this data we put under C1F. Uh, okay, around the years, uh, we received the feedback from the commission and uh, mentioned that uh, already published the book and then uh, why not put uh, under as a research book. So normally we will check all the data and uh, table of content, something like that. Is not uh, under research book. We will transfer all the data for the C1F as an artist publication. Okay, now we move to C1, D1, D2, 1, number of chapters in research book index corpus was. C1, D2, 2, number chapter in done research book. So this is again the glossary, the refer from the Myra glossary. This is a sample of the number of chapter in research book. And then uh, this uh, chapter uh, index under scopus, we have the title, the uh, the name of the book and then the page number and year of publications. So this is sample of number chapter that specified as non uh, index research book. Okay, this is the list of the publisher that uh, register under MAPIM. So we have around uh, 31 uh, publisher that register under MAPIM. Um, all the publisher, the IPTs uh, publisher registered the MAPIM, and we have also the, the publisher from the um, from uh, DVP, DVP, and then uh, we have from the Lembaga Minyak Sawit Malaysia and others. Okay, for the accreditation, also they have the C1D3 number of case study and technical report and a policy paper. For the Myra, normally uh, the marks. Uh, very high for the policy paper. Okay, this is the same for the, the rules from the Myra Bursary. C1, D3, number of case study and technical report. We have a two, two version the published version and unpublished version. For the commission, 
for the public version, case study ethical report, uh, they may deposit all the item, the data into the IRAC. And then what happens to the unpublished? The, for the unpublished uh, technical and case study report, uh, they can uh, uh, submit the data and register under uh, IEC and must uh, contact the person in charge, uh, Madam Suhaiza. And there is uh, the, the form need to fill up and submit all the documents to the IC and then can claim the for the Myra data. This is a sample of the uh, registered consulting project under IC. We have the registered form and then must submit also with the FI monitors. And lastly, uh, the full report for the Myra. So this is a sample for the accepted uh, technical report. Okay, what happened to the unaccepted case study and technical report? So normally for the Myra assessment, uh, the auditor will check the evidence, whether this is the final report or the draft awal, draft kedua or draft ahi. And then uh, for the draft awal, draft kedua, draft ahi, normally the auditor will reject for the Myra. Why? Because this is not uh, classified as the full report. The full report must have the title itself and then uh, the year, the current year of publish, and then all the details and for the assessment for the Myra. For the index, it's not accepted for the Myra. The, this is a C1E policy paper. The sample of policy paper. Normally, we will we'll use the uh, Myra Bursary, how we check all the detailed information. Okay, this is a sample of the uh, technical report that uh, is uh, accepted last year. We have the formulators and the full report itself. Okay, now I will, I will uh, share our uh, experience, how we check all the information, the data from uh, the I read and the article. So, what are the references and the tool that we are using? So, normally we will uh, use the Myra Grocery. We will have the data from the IREP, and then from the IREP, we will check the evidence uh, either is uh, index or the scopus, web of science, era, my site, and for the book chapter and book, we will check the publisher is uh, registered at the BAPIP or not. Last but not at least, we will check the Myra IT staff for the current year. So this is uh, the step that we have data from the IRAP as focus. So from the IRAP, normally we will check the current year and the uh, data must be stand for the publish. So this is the raw data. From the raw data, we massage and clean up. And we will transfer the data into the Myra master list like this. We have the article ID, the, the name of uh, authors, and then the core ID, the name of the article, the publisher, and lastly, the evidence from the scopus was or error. And then for the C1, uh, for the five year publication impact, so we will harvest the data from the scopus. So this is the raw data that we see from the scopus. From this one, we will check all the detail and then we will add from which kulia the name of the researcher from IEM and the staff number. And lastly, we will submit all the detail from the C1A until C1F uh, into RMC for the Myra assessment. Okay. Now I will uh, show you the three scenario, how the academician can claim the mark for the Myra and how the student can claim the mark, uh, PE, uh, PE uh, the mark for your graduation. So I, I noticed that for the master and uh, PhD student uh, for your graduation, you must write the article and uh, must I'm not sure the must or not, but uh, supposedly uh, 
index in the uh, scope or something like that. Okay. See, this is the scenario. The scenario one, uh, the article is understanding how national women appraise their breast cancer, the symptom uh, approach. Okay, from this article, we have uh, four authors. The, the first authors from the IM, and the second, third, and fourth authors from uh, the overseas, from the University of Southampton, and the number four authors from the University of Malaya. And then this information, uh, Dr. Wan Hasriza Wan Lamad published the article from into the IM Medical Journal. And Alhamdulillah, this journal, this index, this coffers was and my site. Okay, how she can claim the mark for the Myra from one article. Okay, from the one article, she can claim the mark for C1A1. Total number of application in Scopus was error. Why? Because this article is an uh, index in a Scopus or was. And then she can claim the mark for the joint publication because there is one authors from the University of Malaya for the national part. And then uh, two authors from the international, from the, from the University of Southampton, uh, UK. So, so she can claim the C1A1, C1A3. And then she can claim the marks for C1B1, total number of publication impact for five years. Let's say her article uh, cite by any acquisition from the national or international for five years. So she can claim the mark for C1B1. So how we get to know the information from here, you can check the citation. For example, two citation, three citation and others. Lastly, this journal is indexed in my site and this uh, article is uh, published under the IM Medical Journal. And then uh, she can claim for the C1C total number of publication for my site in the journal. So from one article, she can get a mark from uh, four subsection for C1. Okay, now I uh, bring to the scenario two. First author, IIM, we ask corresponding author from IIM. Okay, from for, for the Myra, normally they will take the, uh, the first author as the main uh, author for the uh, Myra to give the mark. Okay, if you notice that from this uh, data, all the acquisition from International Islamic University Malaysia from Kulia of Medicine, one time. The author one, author two, uh, number three, four, from the one time. Uh, what are the differences from all the authors? The last authors act as corresponding authors. Okay, for the Myra mark, in this case, the corresponding author will get the mark. So how we get to know this information? We will, from the full article, we will check the evidence. So here, Dr. Noel Lenawati of the type is corresponding author. And then we will verify from the scoffers. So in this case, Dr. Noel Lenawati will get a point for the Myra, even though the first author from the, the sequence, also from the Kulia of uh, the same Kulia from the IUM. But since Dr. Noel Lenawati is the corresponding author, she will get the point for this article. Okay, lastly, the scenario three, collaboration authors. Okay, in this case, the title is uh, Effect of Non-Conjugate and etc. We have around uh, eight authors. The authors number fifth until seven, all from the IUM. So, uh, Professor Dr. Sheikh Afghan Khan from the Kulia of Engineering will get the point for this case. How we get to know, we will check again from the full text from uh, here. You can see the sequence here. And then we verify from the scopus or from the web of science. Uh, okay, 
So Dr. Sheikh Afghanistan, we get the point for the Myra. Okay, from uh, three scenario uh, here, uh, we encourage uh, our student uh, to do the research, write the article, uh, collaborate with your supervisor. So in win win situation, uh, you can get the, the mark for your graduation. Um, and then for the supervisor also can uh, contribute for the Myra for the university. So uh, the student uh, get the point and then the academician also can get the point from the article. Okay, this uh, sample of the poster that uh, we encourage our researchers to publish the article from the scopus from the Web of Science, ERA, and uh, my site. Okay, what are the difference from uh, the four indexes? The scopus Web of Science, normally they have the database. But for the ERA, normally no database, only the list of the journal that in the under ERA, so it's around uh, 45,000 uh, uh, um, journal that are uh, listed under ERA. And for the Malaysia index, we have the Malaysia Strategic Index. So this is the, the poster for the tip and trick, uh, trick that I shared with you uh, before. From uh, one article, the convention can claim the point for four subsection C1A1, C1A3, C1B11, and lastly C1C. So this is the flow, how we have the data from the IREP. Okay, now uh, I will uh, talk a little bit on the E4 copyright that uh, my friends uh, shared with you before. Okay, under E4 innovation, we have a seven subsection from E1A until E4A. For our part, for our library, we focus on the E4A, other and patent, commercialized product technology, and know how both declare under subsection C. And for the number one until six, is under champion of uh, RMC. So we will use the Myra Grocery for our workflow. Okay, again, we will have the data from the RS MV2. So normally the commission will register their uh, copyright uh, into this database. So our uh, co copyright unit will have the data, we will check the zoology form, and we will check the evidence. And from this evidence, we will file all the detail into the micro, and then we will receive the copyright voluntary notification.
for copyright. Huh? So you may contact us through email or can come forward to uh, our office or by call us and you can ask anything that about the publication and copyright. So we we try our best to help you and to advise how you can uh, plan to write your research and uh, publish in the uh, legal. Okay, I think uh, that's all from me. So I, I hope that all the information that we share today uh, will be fruitful and can be used for your, uh, during your study. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Brother Rizwan, for the fruitful presentation. Um, so um, maybe we can, if there, maybe I open the floor if there is any question. Uh, online audience. Uh, I have a question. Uh, Brother Rizwan, uh, before this, um, in the slide mentioned that uh, the index journal is Scopus, uh, was uh, era, and also my site, right? Yeah. So uh, perhaps maybe the audience also want to know whether the SPI is included or is counted uh, as index journal or not. Okay, uh, for the ECI, uh, no, it's uh, under the web of science. Okay, uh, for the information that uh, any uh, journal that uh, would like uh, to be indexed uh, under WAS. So normally they will put under the ESCI. So the committee from the web of science will study the performance of the journal. If you meet the criteria that are need by the WAS, only that this journal will uh, transfer from the ESCI into web of science. And for uh, Myra, if we check from the glossary, only mention um, index in Scopus, Web of Science, ERA, and my site. It's not uh, mention the ESI. So uh, we receive a question uh, before from our question. Uh, we not encourage uh, the question to publish the article in, in uh, ESCI because we do not know when the journal will be transferred into the web of science. There are cases that the journal uh, under the ESCI list, but the performance is not good, then uh, the web of science will remove from the list from uh, ESCI. So the only the I call the hope that mission that this journal uh, supposedly should uh, index under the web of science not uh, come into the reality. So we have a case, uh, uh, Doctor. We have a case. All right. Uh, any other question? There is no question from online audience. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, uh, maybe uh, whether this one has uh, certainly involved. Uh, uh, we have the ISSN and we also have the ISBN, for example, right? Yes. And this one is under the National Library, if I'm not mistaken. So, what's actually the benefit of getting the uh, ISSN or ISBN? from the library, if you have that information. Okay, uh, for the, normally uh, for the books, new book and uh, new journal, uh, for the commission or kulia, like to publish uh, the ISBN number and the ISN number is very important. Uh, for the ISBN number, normally they have uh, around uh, 12, 12 or 11 digits compared to the ISN number, it's around uh, 8 digits. So normally for the uh, uh, ISBN number, they will start with the uh, 978 until dot dot dot. And then for the ISN number, for example, uh, 
4212 and slash uh, 3267. So this information is very uh, important for the uh, publication. Why? Because for the Myra or any uh, assessment, normally they will check this as a proof that the article or the journal already published. So this uh, the information is very, very important. The ISBN number and ISBN number. So for the new book and uh, new journal, they only need, uh, need to register with the National Library. They have the, what's called the form and they submit all the information to the National Library. Uh, do they have like sort of uh, online database, right? The online database whereby they have all of the, uh, Documents there where, where when when we do, when we want to do the searching, then we can search like, the documents from the online database. So when we have the ISS and ISPM, for example, so this one can be uh, uh, the national library has its own database that we can search or. Uh, that one I'm not sure. <laughs> Right. Um, maybe we can move uh, to the uh, next speaker, perhaps, inshallah, if there is no question. Maybe if there is, maybe uh, you can ask uh, at the end of the session. All right. Thank you very much, Sister Anis and Brother Rizwan, for uh, looking forward to having you, inshallah, in the future. All right. So now I would like to call the third and fourth presenter to the front, Sister Sakina and Sister Izati.
to that publication, either before or after publication. So, uh, and also it increased the visibility uh, and the academic uh, reputation uh, of our uh, institution, IUM, and also the author itself. Okay. Okay, so here is the user interface of IRAP. I think most of the lecturers know already uh, the, the how to log in to this uh, repository. Okay, so what type of publication that we accepted in IRAP? So there are actually five uh, types of publication that we uh, we allowed to be uploaded in IRAP. The first one is the article, journal article, uh, book review and all that. And then the second one is book. The third one is book chapter. The fourth one is monograph. Uh, and the fifth one is proceeding paper. Okay. Okay, so this is the workflow of IRAP. So uh, here uh, is the, the first one. Uh, there are, actually, there are three stages in IRAP. Okay, the, the first one is called user work area. Here, the lecturer will need to upload the evidence and complete the record, the, the information field uh, of the uh, IRAP item and assign subject to the related uh, content or, or article or their publication. And then after that, when they click the submit button or deposit button, this uh, publication will be changed into under review. Okay, status. So here we, the librarian will uh, check one by one all the publication that the lecturer submitted or deposited in this repository. So here, there are two conditions. We will return the item if the evidence is not sufficient. Or, uh, or be, uh, and then if the, there are too many files that we can understand what the lecturer deposit, okay? So we will return and ask the lecturer to, we, not, we will notify the lecturer and ask the lecturer to uh, fix the problem, okay? And then uh, we will remove the item if the, the item is duplicate item or when we, when we when we see that the publication is not related to the uh, research or scholarly work of that uh, lecturer. And also if there is the item is non-IUM, uh, means that the publication, uh, the lecturer wrote before he or she joined IIUM. Okay, so this one we will remove. Okay. And then if all the evidence are correct and all that, we will verify, uh, we will approve, and then this item will be changed into live archive. So from here, uh, our top priority is uh, this item we will extract uh, for the Myra, my Mohi, and Setara Marks, all the published publication. And the same uh, item, it will also be linked to the CV online of uh, Inquiries. And also, it will be linked to the staff uh, profile of the uh, academic staff uh, in IIM staff directory. Okay. Okay. So this is the important notes. Uh, the first one is uh, only published publication will be counted for Myra, my Mohi, and Setara uh, exercise because um, we will. Uh, all the impressed or unpublished item, they will not be counted for this Myra exercise. And the second one, affiliation on the evidence. Okay, what is the affiliation? There, there must be the author's name and the name of the department or the kuliah, and also at least the IIM name on that evidence. Okay, otherwise they will not be considered for Myra marks. Okay, the third one is publication published before the author. Uh, joins IIM as staff is not allowed to be uploaded in IRAP because it will give us a burden to approve all the item. Okay, and the fourth one is impressed and unpublished publication are not recommended to be uploaded in IRAP. However, uh, in the case that if this impressed item has been approved in IRAP, uh, and after that the staff uh, saw that this one has been published, so uh, the staff need to contact us so that we can make uh, some changes to the evidence in the IRAP system. Okay, next. Okay, the status of the published item. 
Okay, for this one, this is uh, the, uh, what you call it, what is the evidence that we need uh, for us uh, so that uh, we can approve the item in IREP. Okay, for this, uh, for the first item type is article. So for general article, book review and article review. So what we need uh, for the physical uh, journal, uh, we need the cover page, the copyright page. We stated the ISSN or EISSN, and then the table of content or any page of the article which indicates the author's university affiliation. And also we need the full text of the article. Okay. And this one must all the uh, all the evidence must be in PDF format. Okay. So for the another article that is magazine, bulletin, newspaper, what we need as the evidence is the cover page, the copyright or editorial page, and also the full text of the article with IIUM affiliation on that evidence. And for newspaper article and academic website, uh, we need uh, as the evidence is the full text from the original document or from the website itself, and there must be IIUM affiliation on that uh, evidence. Okay, this is the sample of the published article with, which is published online. So, as, uh, generally, the lecture we upload the item uh, in IRAD. Uh, so, when we look at it, we will verify this item to the information that is uh, available on the publisher website. So, for example, if the lecturer claim that this article is published article, and when we look at the pub at the publisher website, uh, the information, the status of the article is still impressed. We will change the status uh, of this article in the IRAP report. So the status will be impressed. Okay. Okay. So this one is the published uh, magazine, sample of the published magazine. So uh, we need the cover page, the editorial uh, or copyright page, and the full text of the article. And also there must be a author's name and IIM affiliation on that. Evidence. Okay. Uh, for this one is the newspaper article. Either is a printed article or online or online newspaper article. Uh, we will need to see that this on this evidence there must have the author's name and IIM affiliation. Okay. Okay. For this academic website article, uh, here is the example of the academic website article that is the Malaysian Medical Gazette. Okay. So we will verify and we will see the evidence if there is author's name and IIM affiliation on the evidence. So it means that it will be considered as uh, to get my marks. Okay. So another one uh, item for the item type books. Okay. What we need for the as the evidence to be submitted into into IRAP is the cover page uh, of the book, the title page. And also the copyright page, we stated the ISBN or EISBN of the book, uh, the complete table of content of the book, the preface and index page. Uh, this one is for research book. Okay, We need the preface and index pages of the research book. And then the back cover or, or any page in the book which indicates the author's or editor's university affiliation. Okay. Okay, so this is the sample of the, uh, of the evidence of the books. So here is the cover page, the title page, the copyright page, and the full table of content of the books. And then the preface and index page, index page for the uh, research book. And uh, there is a page uh, which indicates the authors and the university affiliation on that book, and also the back cover of the book. Because sometimes the ISBN uh, numbers is stated uh, on the back cover of the book. Okay? So we need the back cover of the book. Okay, for the book chapter, uh, all the evidence that we need is same as the book, uh, but uh, additionally, we will need the whole pages of the book chapter. Okay. Okay, for, uh, so this is the evidence for the book chapter, the cover page, the title page, the copyright page, the full table of content of that book, uh, preface and index page for the research book, list of contributors for the book chapters, uh, and also we need the full page of the chapters because this is required by the research external research auditor uh, for Myra uh, during Myra exercise. 
uh, and also the back cover for the book chapter. Okay. Okay, what about the proceeding paper? So, it's same like article. Uh, we need the cover page, that the title page, the copyright page, uh, the complete table of content or the selected table of content which shows the title of the proceeding paper or the, or the keynote paper. And also, we need the full text of the proceeding paper. Okay, so this is the sample of the proceeding paper. Uh, this is the cover page, the copyright page, the full table of content and the full text of the proceeding paper. Okay, now we go to the sample of monograph. So for monograph, whether it's a policy paper, technical paper, uh, technical uh, book, and case studies. Okay, so this one, uh, all this uh, falls under monograph. So what we need as the evidence to be submitted in IRAD is the cover page of the monograph, the title page, the copyright page, the full table of content, the author's contribution. Uh, uh, during the working of the monograph. Okay, I think that's all. So for the impressed and unpublished publication in IRAP, so, uh, because I received so many uh, questions, because they really, uh, some of the lecturers, they would like to upload the impressed and unpublished publication in IRAP. So we still entertain the impressed and the unpublished publication in IRAP. However, for impressed item, will we, will, we only we will apa, allow to receive only um, article, book, book chapter, and conference paper for uh, in for impress item. Okay, so for monograph, uh, there will not be we cannot receive any impress or unpublished public uh, monograph to be uploaded in IRAP. Uh, for unpublished publication, we on uh, we allow the lecturer to. Upload only the um, conference, conference item, which uh, because we consider that some of the conference item, uh, they take uh, six months to one year to be published. So we still consider lah for the lecture to upload the unpublished publication uh, that is the conference item only in IRAP. Because the reason is, uh, as I just mentioned just now, they are not counted for Myra, Max, my Mohi or Stara rating. Uh, and then we get the information from the MST that they are not counted for the staff promotion and also they are not counted for renewal of contract of the staff. Okay, I think uh, that's all from my presentation. Uh, thank you. So is there any question relating to this uh, requirement? Assalamualaikum. Um, What's that? Um, <laughs> uh, 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 for the newsletter, eh, for the mm -hmm. newsletter or e-bulletin uh, from the Kuria uh, KICP. KICP or any yeah, other Kuria. Mm -hmm. So that one, uh, do, uh, is it required to have, for example, if there's an article, is it required to have the attribution as well or Sufficient with the no need, no need. From the apa pak if the publisher is the KICT, no need. We have the IUM affiliation. Right. And then uh, the one that you showed uh, on the monograph, eh? So the monograph was the requirement to make sure that uh, it is eligible to be uh, deposited in the IRA. <coughs> hmm. Sorry. Okay, for that monograph, there must be a published version of that monograph to be uh, uh, which is allowed to be uploaded in IRAP. For the unpublished or the final draft of the monograph, uh, that one, uh, the lecturer need to submit it to the RMC under entrepreneurship. IEC. IEC. Uh, they, because they will put it, uh, they will look at it and put it under RMSV if I'm not mistaken. Because there is a related thing, related uh, related because that is related to research grant and all that. Evidences. Uh, let's say if we, uh, for example, we, uh, we compile monograph eh, from the FYP students, for example, uh, and then we compile it as mm. um, what we call as a book, for example, right? So that one will be considered as a monograph or mm. a book itself. Mm. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you. All right. Uh, we have one question from online uh, audience. If Arkiv, is it Arkiv? A R X I V. X I V. Arkiv. Yeah, it's that. Can it be published in Arab? Arkiv or what? Arkiv. I believe this is the X I V. Raw data. Raw data. Is it correct, Dr. Diana? Dr. Diana, if you are. Online, maybe you can turn on your mic, maybe. Yes, sir. Are you there? Can you uh, explain further? What is that? Archive, archive. I don't know. <laughs> Or any other uh, question from the floor? From the audience? <laughs> no? Yeah. All right. Um, maybe we can uh, proceed to the next speaker, mm -hmm. uh, Sister Izati, to um, share with us on the IRAP as well. Please welcome. Oh, you can Dia kat sini belum. Dia tak share yang ni. Hmm. Dia kat online. Kena stop sharing yang tadi. Oh, ni lagi. Share yang ni. Oh, okay, Zaki. Alright. Mana ada satu? Tak ada satu. Mana nak tengok dia tengok? Pergi dekat apa? Superman. Pergi dekat yang tadi. Saya akan share. Point one. Ada di kamera kan? Ya. Oh, dah buka yang ni. Tak boleh lagi buka yang ni. Oh, kat sini. Oh, nak buka yang dekat dalam Zoom eh? Right? Tapi dia dah share dah kan? Dia share Dia share ni Share ni kan? Tak apa buka je dulu Haa ok nampak lah Mesti nampak tapi dah kena kecil ni Tapi tak apa kalau tak jadi buka je ni Maksudnya dia akan Akan move je Kat situ ok? Saya tengok kat situ Oh, tapi nanti ah. Tapi nanti kalau kan lain ni. Ah, oh, sebab orang nak buka tu kat sini. Kat sini pun tak okay. Sebab kat situ pun nampak je slide. Oh, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm Dah share screen ke? Oh dah, dah, dah stop lah. Oh, dah, dah stop. Ni balik. Share screen ke? Hmm. 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 
Yang ni balik sini boleh boleh nampak macam tu tapi tak nampak penuh saya tu. Ye, kalau tu dia tak nampak yang dia nampak kecil dia. Dia kat sini kita nampak. Dah rasa tu ni. Tapi tak jadi. Dia tak juga keluar pada besar dia mesti. Tapi dah selesai aku dah sampai. Ni dah. Kita nak cuba. Kita nak cuba. Pakai yang di punya tunggu kat tu. Pakai dia powerpoint yang bawah tu terus tu kat. Ya, itu dia lah nak yang tu. Ya, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you for having me to this workshop today. Uh, for my part, I will uh, brief you on how Okay. Oh, kena besar kan? Okay. okay um, for my part, uh, I will share with you about uh, the steps to deposit uh, IREP, uh, the deposit the your publication into IREP. Okay. The first thing first, uh, IREP registrations. All uh, lecturers or academic staff must have an IREP account in order to uh, submit or deposit your item into IREP. So here, um, uh, to register, you just go to the uh, IREP uh, website, and then uh, you click the login. Uh, you click the create account uh, button here. Okay, and then it will. It will. Uh, other than that, you can also go to the login page, and then you can uh, select the uh, the red one here. Click here to create account, and once. Uh, after that, you must enter the uh, IIM email and also uh, use uh, your alpha numeric password. Okay, it is encourage uh, you to use password other than your uh, CAS, CAS password. Lah. Okay, mm -hmm. and then uh, an activation <laughs> link will be sent to your email to allow successful registration. Lah. Okay, once complete, uh, you can click the register here. Okay. Uh, let's say in case if you have forgotten your password, uh, you can just click a uh, reset button here, okay? And you can start uh, key in the uh, uh, IIM email and also the alpha numeric uh, password uh, previously, okay? And then you click submit, okay? Okay, uh, after you have created your account, uh, then you can start uh, to deposit your publication into IREP lah, okay? Okay, the first thing you must log in, uh, key in your username and password. And then uh, before you uh, deposit your uh, publication, make sure uh, you uh, check the, uh, the title of your paper uh, to avoid any duplication of that uh, item lah, okay? Because uh, sometimes there's another author already deposited uh, that paper into IREP. Okay, so you must uh, key in, you must check by key in the title here uh, and at the home page. Okay, at, at the home, you key in the title of your paper and then uh, if the search result search has no matches, so there is no duplication. Okay, so you can proceed with the depositing process. Lah. Okay. So uh, the first thing, oh, sorry. Uh, you click the Manage Deposit at the left side, Manage Deposit. And then you click the new item to begin, okay? And then it will direct you to this interface. Uh, there's an auto-generated ID there, 98800, okay? Uh, and then uh, at, the first, uh, at the first step here is the uh, item type lah. So you must choose uh, uh, what the proper uh, item type, and then you click next. And then at the upload, uh, this, this part you have to upload your evidence, okay? You just click the choose file, 
and make sure it is in PDF format lah. Okay, and to set your to set your um your document, okay, uh, in in terms of the uh copyright and privacy uh, privacy restrictions, you can uh, click the show option down there, okay, to set the document requirements, and then it will direct you uh, to this uh page uh your menu. Um, the content for content you select the published versions and also uh, at the for visible to here this is very important uh select the appropriate IREP document visibility okay so there is three uh visibility level here this is for anyone if you set it uh anyone so it is an open access and can be downloaded by anyone including include your uh, students okay and if you set it um registered users only uh, that means the abstract can be viewed by anyone but the full text can only be downloaded by registered members or authors okay users uh users or students can request a copy okay only you can request a copy and but cannot download the uh, document okay and if you sell the repository stuff only that means uh, you just share it with our, our IREP editors that means the abstract can be viewed by anyone but the full text can only be downloaded by the by depositors only lah. and users also can request a copy from the author there's a button of request a copy there okay um basically uh registered users only this one is uh for uh authors I am more than one IIUM authors writing the paper. Okay. Uh, but for repository stuff only, basically it's only for one IIM on uh, why one IIM author only. Okay. So once you set the, the visibility level, you just click the up, update meta, metadata and then next. Okay, here this is the part of the details, uh, the metadata. You must complete all the metadata, the title, the abstracts, uh, the keywords, and also uh, article type and so on. Uh, let's say uh, if you want to know more about what can be what can be written here, you just click the question mark symbol to know the field description and its example. Lah. Okay, uh, for example, like this title, it must. Uh, it gives you the example here already. So you just follow the example here, okay? So uh, other than that, uh, the author part, this one, uh, uh, this is the important part lah, okay? Uh, make sure if it is IIUM author, it is mean the active staff lah, okay? Uh, make sure you enter IIUM email only, not uh, Gmail or Yahoo, and staff number and also the Kuliah uh, uh, and department, okay? And you select the person type is staff, okay? And if the co-authors is the IIM student, you must enter the official name, the metric number. This is a, a requirement for my MOHI, ah, okay, my MOHI assessment. Uh, and also the kuliah and kuliah and department. And the person type, you select the student, ah, okay? Uh, if the co-authors is the external author, uh, you enter the official name, email, and the affiliation, and also, the person type you select the external okay uh, and the affiliation uh, basically if it is the local or national use the abbreviation that you see upm or usm only okay uh, doesn't need to enter the full institution name okay and if it is the international institution you enter the full institution name okay 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 this part the author part just a family name and the given name here okay you must uh in this field, you must uh, enter the, the name. See, uh, the name, the sequence is according to the evidence uploaded. Okay. Uh, if you can see here, there's uh, evidence here. Okay. It says that uh, Siri Ama is the first author. So you must enter Siri Ama in the first row. Lah, okay. And so on until uh, uh, at the fourth. Uh, uh, the first one is the Aileen Razali. Okay. And then make sure um, the family name is the father's name, lah. Okay, given name is your name. Uh, and e email, make sure it is an IIUM email only. Okay. Uh, and for the um, for the email uh, for the staff name, 
make sure it is spelled like the spell spell its spellings same in I I and stuff directory lah. If it is Eileen, so it is uh, uh exactly like Eileen. Okay. Uh, and also here, um, stuff ID here. You can uh put your metric number, uh, your students' metric number in this this period in this column. And also the kulia and the affiliations and the person types and the author status. Okay, author status here. You, uh, we, uh, basically we refer to the evidence again, which one the author and which one the correspondent. We will check and we will, uh, according lah. We will check accordingly. Uh, according to the uh. Evidence, okay, okay, and then you choose the uh kuliah and department accordingly. Okay, after that, uh, after you fill up the metadata, complete the metadata, you just click the next. Okay, this part is uh where you have to assign the subject for the record. Uh, you just click the uh, plus assign and also the add symbol to choose the sub to expand and choose the subject or. Otherwise, you can just uh, search uh, keywords here and we'll uh, show you uh, the subject. And you also can click remove button if you wish to change the subject or if you have selected the wrong subjects. Okay. Okay, then, then you just click the next. Uh, here, there's a last step is the deposit. Okay. Uh, once all the information has been confirmed, you have to read this. Uh, you just uh, click uh this button click here to deposit item okay once you click make sure uh you got this uh message that's mean the deposited item currently will be at under review status and will not be appeared to the public until it has been checked by the IREP editor okay uh we will take seven working days uh for published item to for us to approve that item lah. okay Okay, uh, let's say if you want to check uh, whether it is uh, already approved or not, you just uh, go to the manage deposit and under the item status column here, uh, you can check if it is still under review, that means it is still uh, in IREP editor's part. Lah, okay, and if it's, it's a live archive, uh, it's already a, appeared in your IM staff directory. Okay, okay I think uh, that's all for me. Uh, if you want to know more about IREF, you just uh, explore this uh, at the about. There's a manual and guidelines here, and there's a video and a FAQ, and also our okay. contact numbers here, okay, for IREF editor. That's all from me. Thank you. If there's any question. Mm -hmm. Sister Zati, uh, about the visibility, can we change it uh, from at any time or it's uh, just once only once in, as long as it is under review it, it, it is in still in your work area you can edit I but see. if you have already i mean uh you already, already approved, approved and then suddenly uh, after some time then you think that maybe you, you can you want to share it with others or you can call us oh to change, to change uh, visibility you can change it and the request copy, uh, we can ask from the author directly or from the library. Basically, if you can see at the IREP uh, page, once one student mm -hmm. and they searching for the article, there's uh the preview, the preview page. There's a request copy button. Mm -hmm. Just click the request copy button there, and then uh then it, uh the requester to enter the email. And uh, they request the email and also the reason for requesting the copy. And then uh, the request will be directly sent to the authors. Okay. The authors, the contact email address at the I record. Lah. Okay. So uh, for the part of the for, for the part of the author, once they get the uh, the notification of the request, there's a accept or reject button there. The lecturers. Um, can accept or reject lah. So state the reason there. Because sometimes uh, students uh, they request a copy but they did, didn't have any feedback after that. Uh, mm -hmm. So they come to the library and they request for I uh, they request for the copy but uh, and then we cannot give 
we just uh, um, encourage them to uh, what to use our service lah ILL Intel Library Loan. Huh. Mm. All right, thank you very much. Any question? <clears throat> okay, uh, I, mean, I ask once we uh, for example, once uh, I uh, submitted the request and I got the under review status, mm -hmm. and then uh, suddenly I uh, uh, I found that um, few information uh, being uh, mistakenly uh, keep in mm -hmm. the system. Mm -hmm. So, um, how, how can I uh, uh, rectify uh, or, or fix the but it's already in other review. Yeah. Okay. Um you can you can you can you can call us to uh, return back to uh, return back the item to to you okay. to, uh, or you can just call us to uh rectify whatever the issue. We okay. can see the correct. Uh. So we, we don't have the cancel button, right? After under review. Mm. So uh, maybe if if, if uh, I think in the action button there mm -hmm. in the IRAP, there's an action tab. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can uh, click the uh, button uh, move to area. Oh, I see. Huh. Okay, I will explore further. Huh. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, I uh, have one question from online audience. Can master or PhD student of IIM can publish their research paper in IIM IRAP? No. Right. Only IIM stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sister <coughs> Padima, uh, the answer. Uh, cannot. Yeah. All right, any other question? No? I think it's time also just nice. F5, E. All right, I think um, if there is no other question, maybe we can end the session. Uh, thank you very much to the organizer, Hamza Fansuri Resource Center, uh, in collaboration with Dar Al Hikmah Library and the Office of Responsible Research and Innovation. Thanks as well to ITD Zone 6 okay, uh, for making this uh, workshop successful. All right, so thank you everyone for your participation in this workshop. Uh, we hope to see you again next uh, event, inshallah. Mm, let's we end with Tasbih Kavara and Suratul As. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, before we dismiss, uh, we would like to give token of appreciation to all the speakers. We would like to invite uh, to call Dr. Azura as a head of responsible research and innovation to deliver a token to the speaker. I would like to invite our first speaker, um, Sister Anis Azia Azhar. Thank you very much, Sister Anis. And next, uh, second speaker is Brother Rizwan Musa. <laughs> All right. So the third speaker, uh, Sister Sakina Kamaludin. And our last speaker, uh, Sister Izati. This way, so. All right, thank you, everyone. Um, uh, let's have a photo session for online. Oh, below again, yeah, still have 26 participants online. Shall we? Yeah, those who are online audience, maybe you can switch on your camera. We can have a photo session. Are you ready, guys? Okay.
Ready? Okay, uh. One, two, three. Okay, wait. Uh. Another one, another one. Oh, yang kat situ apa? Yang, yang kat dalam on, on screen je eh. Kat on screen je eh. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. Belak Belakang belak kat surat mana? Nengat ke? Ah, boleh kat luar. Ah. Alright. Thank you everyone. Hope to see you guys again uh, in our next uh, event insyaAllah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ini saya takut hari ni. Dia ambil gambar. Testing satu dua tiga testing testing satu dua tiga testing ya deko kata deko eko 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 a eko eko i Eko, eko, a, eko, eko, i.